Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have 640 acres of land for sale in Utah. To put that into perspective, 640 acres is one square mile. This can also be referred to as an entire section based on the public land survey system's township range and section. That is a lot of land. This property has road frontage through the southwest corner, mature trees, varied terrain, and amazing views. Elk, mule deer, black bears, and mountain lions populate the area, and this property borders over 1 million acres of contiguous BLM land along the entire north and east boundaries, which connects to the Fish Lake National Forest. The nearest boundary to the Fish Lake National Forest is just one mile north of the property through the publicly accessible BLM land. Before we explore the Fish Lake National Forest, let's look at the BLM land. BLM stands for Bureau of Land Management. The Bureau of Land Management is a federal agency within the United States Department of the Interior. It is responsible for the management and conservation of public lands and resources located primarily in the western United States. The BLM plays a crucial role in overseeing the use and stewardship of these lands which belong to all American citizens. On BLM land, you can hike, camp, hunt, mountain bike, ride horses, and ATVs. Be sure to check with the local BLM district and field office for more information about the opportunities to explore and enjoy BLM land in your area. And as we mentioned, this 640-acre property borders BLM land along the entire north and east boundaries. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on new videos. Here we have the interactive map with the 640 acres highlighted in green. You can see the road that runs through the southwest corner of the property. It's named Fremont Canyon Road. Then if we zoom out just a little bit, you can see the BLM land that borders the entire north and east boundaries. And if we zoom out a little bit further, you can see how much BLM land this property borders. It continues to extend in all directions as far as you can see. And this green shaded area here is the Fish Lake National Forest. The distance from the north boundary of the property to the Fish Lake National Forest is only about a mile. And then if we zoom in, you can see these dirt roads that run all throughout this area that lead directly into the Fish Lake National Forest. And again, the Fish Lake National Forest is over 1.5 million acres. And if we zoom in on this area up here to the north, you'll see several lakes. Now let's head over to Google Earth. Here we have the 640 acres in green. There's the road running through the southwest corner of the property. This map does not have the public land layer on, which makes it easier to see those roads running through here. And then if we zoom out and go and look at those lakes, you can see there are several all throughout this area. Now we have the photo layer turned on, and later in the video we'll show you where to download this map and how to turn that photo layer on. There were people who visited these lakes, took a photo, and then connected it to that location so it appears on this Google Earth map. And then we can click on the photo icon to view that image. There appears to be a campground around this lake, Extremely beautiful area. You can see the mountain and trees reflecting in the water. There's another lake over here. The photographer's holding a trout. Another lake down here. A lake over here. And if we look just a little further north, there's another lake. And just north of that lake is a ski area named the Eagle Point Resort. Here's a photo of the Eagle Point Resort. Another lake over here. Here's a photo of the ski lifts in the fall. You can see the beautiful aspen trees changing color. Here we have the Eagle Point Skyline Lodge. This is the website for the Eagle Point Resort, which will include a link to this website within the property description. On TripAdvisor, the Eagle Point Ski Resort has a four and a half star rating out of five, based on 112 reviews. And that's just one of the many amazing outdoor recreational opportunities that surround this property. To give you an idea where the property is at, here we have the 640 acres in green. To the northwest is the town of Beaver, Utah, which has a population of around 3,600. That's only about a 34-minute drive from the property. You just take the county road that runs through the property to the west for 7.4 miles, where it then connects with Interstate 15. And you take Interstate 15 north directly into Beaver. The total distance is about 19 miles. Again, Beaver has a population around 3,600. There's a municipal airport. There's a hospital, grocery store, restaurants, lumber, and building supplies. This is the downtown area of Beaver. If you take Interstate 15 south, it'll take you into Parowan, which has a population around 3,200. That's about 43 minutes from the property. And if you continue on Interstate 15 south, it will take you to Cedar City, Utah, which has a population around 35,000, and that's about an hour drive from the property. 
And once you turn off the county road that runs through the property, that entire drive to Cedar City is all on Interstate 15. In Cedar City, there's a hospital, Walmart, natural grocers, harbor freight, restaurants, professional services. And then just east of Cedar City is the Cedar Breaks National Monument, which has kind of that Grand Canyon feel. And also just over an hour from the property is the Bryce Canyon National Park. And the Bryce Canyon National Park is famous for the intricate and delicate spires known as hoodoos. These hoodoos are the result of erosion and geological processes over millions of years in our famous signature of the Bryce Canyon National Park. And also just over an hour from the property is the Zion National Park. The Zion National Park is over 145,000 acres, with the Zion Canyon being one of the park's most famous features, highlighted by cliff walls that rise over 2,000 feet, with the Virgin River flowing through the heart of Zion Canyon. And then we have St. George, Utah. St. George, Utah is about an hour and 40 minutes from the property, population just under 100,000. In St. George, you can find all the big box retailers, Lowe's, Home Depot, Target, Costco, Walmart, several grocery stores, a hospital, and pretty much anything else you need. Salt Lake City is about three hours north of the property. The population of Salt Lake City itself is around 200,000, but when you factor in all the surrounding metropolitan area, the population is over a million. If we go back and look at the 640 acres, these are photos of the actual property in the surrounding area. This is Fremont Canyon Road that runs through the southwest corner of the property, and there's a seasonal creek on the south side of the road. Here we have a satellite image with the 640 acres in green. There's over a thousand feet of frontage on Fremont Canyon Road. We hadn't mentioned it yet, but the entire southern boundary of the property borders state land. And again, that BLM land is in yellow. The elevation ranges from around 7,000 feet at the road to about 7,760 feet at the high elevation point towards the northeast corner of the property. Let's look further into the terrain on this property. We're going to turn on the topographic layer. And as we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see the contour of the topographic lines. The closer those lines are together, the steeper the slope. And the further apart, the more level it is. So up here at the northeast corner, the high elevation point, there's a large area that's more level. If we were to take one of these measurement tools and just measure the area around that line, just this area right here is six and a half acres. And you can see similar areas, one right here. The whole east side of the property, those topographic lines are much more spaced out. You also have some more level areas up here at the northwest corner. There's a level spot at the top of this peak here. That's around 7,600 feet in elevation. And then you have a couple of those down here as well. Whether you're looking at this property as a place to bury some of your wealth in the ground or a spot to be used for outdoor recreation, hunting, camping, hiking. Maybe you'd like a place just to pitch a tent, put up a yurt, a cabin. Could it be a family compound, a corporate retreat? Or maybe you have a business in mind where you'd rent out cabins and camping spots. Perhaps you'd build a custom home, maybe some accessory buildings, have some animals, or maybe an underground bunker so you have a place to hunker down if society were to one day collapse. Whatever your plans may be, you have 640 acres of opportunity. In this 640 acre property in Utah, surrounded by public land, just a mile from the Fish Lake National Forest, is priced at $1,920,000. We have a lot of additional information on our website at landio.com, including over 100 images of the property in the surrounding area. When you're on the Photos tab, go to the top right-hand corner of the images and click the Expand icon, then click the Grid icon, and you'll be able to view all of those images in a grid format. And then just click on one of the images that you'd like to view, which will then enlarge the image to full screen. Below the main section with the images, we have the contact information. We're grateful to work with Utah Realtor Brian Burnett of Century 21 on the marketing of this property. For questions to schedule a tour or purchase this incredible property, please call or text Brian directly at 435-375-4564. Again, that number is 435-375-4564. And if you click on this Nearby Properties tab, that will take you to the bottom of the page. There is a 23.5 acre property just to the west of the 640 acres. It does not border the 640 acres, but if we look at this image right here of the 23 and a half acres, the southwest corner is along Fremont Canyon Road. If you were to continue east on Fremont Canyon Road in just a little over a mile, you'll be at the 640 acres. And here's a photo standing on Fremont Canyon Road. This is looking east, so you'd continue this way to the 640 acres. And this 23 and a half acre property has a road that splits off called Coyote Bench Road. And the north boundary of this property also borders that BLM land that then connects with the Fish Lake National Forest.
And Brian Burnett is also the listing agent on this 23 and a half acre property. And again, you can reach Brian by call or text directly at 435-375-4564. If you have a property that you're looking to sell and you'd like to see it featured on the Landio network, visit sellwithlandio.com and fill out that simple form. Likewise, you can also visit our website landio.com where you will find a sell property button on the home page and on all of the interior pages. And that button will also lead you to the same simple form. Earlier in the video, we showed you Google Earth and how we were looking at the photos of the lakes. If you'd like to experience that yourself, Go to the property details page on Landio.com, scroll down to about the center of the property description, and below the instructions for visiting the property, you'll see download map KML file. Click that link, and that may prompt you to allow the download. Once you do, that KML file will download, and then you can open it in Google Earth. If you do not have Google Earth, here's a link to download Google Earth. Now we're going to open the KML file. Once you have Google Earth installed, double click that KML and then it will open up in Google Earth and zoom to the property. Now we'll zoom out a little bit to go over by the lakes. Then you're going to click your sidebar menu. It's located just to the right of the search field. Click show sidebar and then down in the layers you're going to click the photos tab. And there you see all of those photos turn on. You can then click the photo icons to view the image related to those photos. And then you also have full operability to explore Google Earth. If you like what we're doing here at Landio, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a positive comment below, and then share our videos with everyone that you know. The more people that we reach, the more dreams of land ownership we can help make come true, and it would be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy clients. Thank you and God bless. Landio! dot com.